Hello friends. I think we can officially say that it is the last week of frosts. As in, I don't think there's going to be any more. And I decided to go do an audit in the garden just to see how we're looking. And I severely <laughs> neglected weeding the garden. I feel like I haven't had it for that long, but I had it long enough for weeds to kind of overtake at least the right bed. The left bed wasn't too bad, but yeah, the... I just also didn't recognize what was a weed at first. Like, that big bunch I had just pulled out, I literally thought it was like a handful of lettuce seeds that I dropped or something, so I have no idea where some of that came from. Anyway. It was a decent day. It was kind of windy, so a little cold. So I brought the kids out with me. They were very eager to help. I had to show them what to pull and what not to pull. And even that was a little, that backfired on me a little bit. <laughs> a lot of things needed uh, thinned down to like this kohlrabi here. It was getting pretty crowded. So I just wanted to make sure it had room to grow because we're honestly, we're very close to summer. We only have about a month left. And yeah, I, I was hungry. I remember in the middle of this and I went inside and made a peanut butter and jelly with the jam that I made. Oh man. I eat peanut butter and jellies are probably why I, one of my favorite things in the world. It was it was okay <laughs> it wasn't too it wasn't great but it wasn't bad it was just a little too tart you know you got to have it sweet with the jelly i also decided to just to go ahead and plant some more seeds because originally i had planned on having these the garden beds as uh like a greens garden like i didn't really have a plan to plant too much other than you know uh leafy greens, lettuce, spinach, like collards and cabbage because this part of the patio doesn't get a ton of sun. Like it gets some, but it doesn't get a full exposure. So I just thought that would work a little better. Um, planned on putting the tomatoes and the peppers and everything else that needed full sun on the other side of the patio. But so I, yeah, I went ahead and did another round of seeds with lettuce spinach yeah here's that merlot lettuce i'm really excited to try that i don't think i've ever had the homegrown lettuce yet there's that salad bowl lettuce that's the exact same salad bowl or that's the exact same lettuce that i tried in the fall garden last year so i didn't get to try that before that dang groundhog ate it all I had then even noticed that there were some weeds hiding up under the cabbage and the collard green uh, leaves. Like, they were literally everywhere. And here was a after shot. Look at that. Everything is thinned. I even uh, watered and fertilized. It was a fertilizing weekend. I do that every other weekend. I just take my little two-gallon bucket, mix in some fertilizer, and pour it in my watering can my gopro died unfortunately but uh, you know what it looks like and here i actually tidied up the uh patio a little bit those peas are starting to come in uh come in really fast and i'm oh my god i'm so excited for those peas a fresh stir fry like get out of here I also finally transplanted my invincible tomato plant it looks kind of scrawny compared to that a uh, Home Depot tomato plant, but I I think we'll we'll see how it does. Um, I honestly think here within the next week or two, I will start harvesting some collard greens and maybe some lettuce. And 
here I have my seedlings that I started a couple of weeks ago. There's a couple of tomato plants, my eggplant, and there is one collard green plant that I'm, I, I don't think I'll be too upset if it doesn't survive since I already have six of them going in the garden right now. And looking through the radishes, uh, I saw one was ready and my daughter was wanting to help. It's a French breakfast radish. I was a little nervous because I had tried it last year and I had let it go too far and it got way too peppery, but this one was actually very mild, just had a little bit of that peppery taste, but it was so good. And she was jealous, so she had to get one on a, one of her own, but she ended up hating it and spitting it out. So that's why I made her grab the smallest one. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time.